Writing my ten books on guitar, I discovered every instrument has a story. I'd like to share these stories with you. My personal guitar story began in 1960 in Liverpool with my first hearing of a Fender Stratocaster. Bruce Welsh of The Shadows takes up the story. We must have been doing, oh boy, you know, early days. Joe Brown was on the show. Hank, uh, you know, we met Joe Brown. I wasn't there at the very second, but Hank met Joe Brown. Joe said, I've got this Italian echo box. He said, but I can't get on with it. You know, because Joe's an actual, he's a sort of purist guitar. He just plays the, the guitar, you know. Uh, so he, he didn't like it. He said, Hank, you should try this. And Hank tried this. It was called a Miazzi. M-E-A-Z-Z-I, Miazzi, Italian, obviously, echo box. And it sounded, Hank, Hank loved it, you know, all the tick, 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 all that stuff. So Hank went to Charing Cross Road. All the guitar shops and everything were there. Vox had decided to import it, but they put the Vox title on it. But it was a Miazzi. It was Miazzi. But um, from my memory, a long time ago, it was what they call a drum echo. I don't use echo myself, but... So it was a, a revolving drum. And I always remember the bits of whatever it was. Tape used to come off. <laughs> you, before you go on, you go... And, and Hank made this his trademark because we would record, like when we were recording Apache or anything, um, we'd have rehearsed in the studio a couple of times, just run through. So Hank would get the the tempo of the of the whatever whichever song it was, Apache for instance, and on this Vox stroke Miazzi, the echo changes. It wasn't like number one, number two, number three, number four. It was just like a revolving little wheel, um, a button, if you like. So whatever, the, you know, down, 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 down. And so Hank would be going, tuck. he'd just go, tuck, 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 tuck. And it was as simple as that, you know. And then he tried out the duck, 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 sounded fantastic. So that was it. And we used it on the f first album and Wonderful Land and all that stuff, you know, magic, just a magic little box. The guitar attached to that magic little box soon needed a setup. But in 1960, there were no guitar techs and few guitar tools. Even finding a Phillips screwdriver or an Allen wrench was a problem. The Shadows soon gave up on their fenders and switched to Burns guitars. Thankfully, things have moved on, and these days you can find all the tools you need and lots of helpful expert advice. Every guitar can be made to play and sound better with a little TLC. I want to help, so if you have any specific challenges with your guitar, drop me an email and I will help. Bruce has many more fascinating stories coming soon in Guitar Story. Check out my new digital manuals with all the setup help you need. Now with free professional video supplements. Thank you.